Meeting partner friends, if you have recently been furloughed and are now heading back to work, you're going to find that a few things have changed. In fact, everything has changed. Everything from how a meeting planner views your space, to how you sell it to a meeting planner, to how you set goals through to the end of the year. All of what you thought you knew about your property or destination in March has flown out the window. But one thing that didn't disappear, and that is your resiliency and your adaptability to change. All I'm here to do today is to remind you of what needs to be done and set you up for success now that you're back. Let's get started. Hey friends, it's Leanne, and if you were one of the thousands that was hit and lost your job or were furloughed when COVID-19 hit our industry, my heart goes out to you. Those early days in late March turned everything upside down, including our job descriptions, our responsibilities, and even our year-end goals. But if you find yourself returning soon, or perhaps you've recently returned, I want to set you out on the right footing so that you're set up for success in this new normal. Today's post will outline what I feel you can do to start the momentum towards a successful return, including a free downloadable resource that you can use to map out your strategy. But before we launch into the tips, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on that little bell to be notified of new content. I have new content for the meetings industry coming out each and every week. So if you're returning to the office, here are a few things that you can do. Tip number one, conduct a hotel and destination audit. This is where you look at everything that's changed in your hotel, either operationally or any of the public messaging that has gone out by your hotel or your destination to your visitors, your guests, even your meeting planner clients. Make sure you're on top of all the things that have been communicated to date. Tip number two, find out how your responsibilities have changed. Now your DOS is going to be on top of this as well. But you'll want to see if your market has changed, if your colleagues have changed, and who's responsible for what in this new normal. Tip number three, conduct a client audit for all of your top accounts. Find out how they were handled in your absence, what pieces of business have canceled, what pieces have potentially rebooked, and what the future is for their programs. Additionally, what are now your responsibilities around this particular account now that you had someone else take care of them over the last few months? And tip number four, can you reset your goals and targets through to the end of 2020 and even into 2021? Everything has changed as far as forecasting. Make sure you have an honest dialogue with your team. Tip five, connect with your DMO or your destination marketing organization. They've also been doing things on your hotel's behalf. Find out what it is that they are sending out to their membership so you're on top of all of the messaging. Tip number six, reach out to your clients in meaningful ways. And if you need a list of tips on how to connect with them in engaging ways during this time, you can find those ideas up here as well as find another free download in that resource. This in part will be part of your larger overall marketing strategy that you have taking you through to the end of the year. Remember, your clients do want to hear from you, but keep those email tips in mind as you're reaching out to your clients. You want to avoid saying, hey, I'm back. Do you have any new business for me? That isn't the way to reignite a relationship with your meeting planner client. And if you need help with those tips, again, you can find that video right up here. And finally, don't forget to update your LinkedIn profile. And again, if you're looking for tips on how to do that, you can find that video up here as well. Friends, I get that this is a lot to digest and that's why I created this free download for you to use. Simply find the link in the description for this video or go over to this blog post at leannecalderwood.com, download the resource and start mapping out your strategy. And if you've recently returned to work, I would love to hear your experiences. Please share with the community all the good, the bad, and the ugly of returning to work after being furloughed by commenting below this video. For more sales and service inspiration and tips, check out all my sales videos here and find more goodness over on the blog at leannecolderwood.com. Welcome back, my friends. It is truly great to see you. Bye for now.